Hi, my name is Madeline Hilsmos, and I will talk about a project on table understanding systems in practice that I conducted during my internship at Sigma Computing, together with Sena Gatani, James Gill, Chartai Demiralp, Ishil Dille from University of Texas at Austin, and Paul Groth from the University of Amsterdam. Over the past decade, deep learning models have become experts in understanding images, natural language, and even codes. But tables, which are widely used to capture information in a semi-structured way, are still a mystery. For us humans, it is easy to understand that this table at the bottom describes different business accounts with their location data across the table's columns. Yet in practice, systems are hardly able to reflect this met metadata accurately. Now, if we'd obtain useful column representations and assign semantic types to them, systems can infer what can and cannot be done with tables. For example, to search for tables with sales data or validate a price column to contain only negative, non-negative values or recommend a map visualization if we select a quantity and country column. And research in the field surely made progress on table understanding systems over the last 10 years. Starting with pragmatic pattern-based heuristics, we now have rich, deep table embeddings that show impressive performance on test sets. But deployment in practice stays behind. Although systems like Google Data Search, Trifecta, and Google Data Studio have been around for years, they still rely on manual net metadata, uh, pattern matching, or even lookups to detect column types. And so we identified three key challenges that we need to address to close the gap and make table understanding models effective in systems beyond these isolated experiments. First, underlaying ta tables should generalize to enterprise tables. Second, system inferences should be reliable across types and tables and weaknesses should be transparent to avoid costly errors, especially in user facing applications. And lastly, but perhaps most importantly, systems should enable fast and simple customization towards deviating or unknown semantics, as they might differ from user to user. Concurrent systems like Trifecta in this example depend on manual type configurations with predefined patterns or regular expressions, which is impractical. And to address these challenges for semantic column type detection, we built Sigma Typer, of which an overview is given here. We train Sigma Typer on Git tables, a set of tables labeled with DBpedia types, which is considerably more relevant to Sigma users given the different table content and structure than web tables. Uh, Sigma Typer is then initiated with a global model, after which local copies adapt to the user's data context based on their feedback using data programming by demonstration. We will take a look a closer look into the model and customization component now. So to increase the reliability of inferences, Sigma Typer combines heuristics to cover structured and obvious types like credit card numbers and country codes with learned models to cover a wide range of semantic types. Confidence scores per predictor inform the final type prediction, which can be none if confidence is low. To customize the model, users can relabel a column with the predefined um, potentially new type. This feedback triggers an iteration cycle based on data programming by demonstration, meaning that we consider the column as an example and automatically extract labeling functions from it to generate new training data for model retraining. And in the future, we plan to fetch rationale from users to tailor these labeling functions. Going forward, we will integrate Sigma Typer into Sigma's products and iterate on it based on the learnings that we get from the deployment. We also want to study the user engagement, engagement and effectiveness of the current feedback implementation. And finally, we are eager to develop table-specific models and embedding user interactions with them so that models learn from the actions users do with certain tables. And with these steps, we aim to close the gap and make table understanding model work in practice. Thank you.